here we are, right in the middle of the ship, right at the centre of it all. We have arrived at the Starship Explorer's core. Now this is the part of the ship that provides sustaining power to every single other part and helps us go on our missions. This part is so important that there is a direct feed of information straight from here to our captain at all times. This is an important place. And it is standing here in the ship's core that I cannot think of a better setting for us as space cadets to learn about a tool that we have in our mission toolkit that is worship. Now, before we go on, what I want you to do is turn to the person next to you and tell them in the next 10 seconds what comes into your mind when you hear the word worship. Go. Awesome. Now, I can pretty much guarantee that loads of you said singing. And you know what? You would be absolutely right. Singing is something that Christians all over the world do to worship God. You see, worship is just something that we as Christians do to show God how much we love him. It's something that we do to thank him for the world that he has created for us. And just like the ship's core is right at the centre of the ship, worship is something that we do to show God he is right at the centre of our lives. He is the most important person to us. Now, today's Bible story was about two guys, Paul and Silas, and they had found themselves in a very dangerous situation. They were in prison. It must have been so scary, dark, cold and filled with really bad people. They must have felt like they had no hope and no way out. If I'm honest, guys, if I was in their situation, I'd have just given up. I would have gone and found myself a corner in that prison and I would have had a big, big cry. But Paul and Silas knew that as hard as things were, there was something more important for them to do. You see, they realised that even though life was hard for them right now, the best thing that they could do was show God how much they love him and how he is the most important person to them. And so they started to sing. You see, Space Cadets, sometimes we might not always have a successful mission. Sometimes life might be hard. Sometimes we might feel like there's no way out and there's no hope. But it's at these times, more than any other time, that we need to tell God how important he is to us and that he is at the centre of our lives. See, Paul, later on in his life, he wrote a bunch of letters to loads of different Christians in loads of different countries. And in one of those letters, he wrote to the people of Philippi these words. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. And boy, did he mean it. I mean, Paul rejoiced always. He rejoiced when life was going great and he rejoiced when he was in a prison with Silas. And if we can learn to be a group of Christians who, no matter what's going on, whether life is great and fantastic or whether life is just a bit rubbish at this point in time, if we can learn that in, the, in the, whatever situation, to tell God how important he is to us and how much we love him, then special things will happen. You see, the end of our story has a whole heap of amazing miracles that happen. As Paul and Silas start to sing, prison doors break open, chains break free, and even the prison guard who was there to make sure that they couldn't get out becomes a Christian. How amazing is that? And worship is something that we can just do every day. It doesn't have to be singing. It can be. It can be singing with actions. It can be singing without actions. It can be spending time with our friends and family and thanking God for them. 
It can be spending time running around outside or just lying in the grass. The important thing that all of these have in common is that we're telling God just how much we love him and how important he is to us. I think that's pretty awesome. Don't you? Until next time, Space Cadets.